Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you all how to make barbecue chicken wings. Here's what you will need. You will need chicken wings, flour, any barbecue sauce that you like, that's the barbecue sauce for you. You will need green onions, salt, and pepper. Now, the wings have been previously washed. When I wash my chicken, I wash my chicken with lime, salt, and cold water. Now, these tips here, save your tips, okay? Never throw them away. Put these tips in a freezer bag because what we can do later on is make a nice beautiful chicken broth when someone in the house gets sick or if I need chicken broth for a dish I'll just throw those wing tips in some water with a few vegetables and have a fresh chicken broth now these are the wings these are how the wings came okay and since I want to break them or cut them into halves just like this, like wing dings, what you do is you do this technique. Make sure that you have a nice sharp knife. I know that's a big knife for such a small lady, but I know how to work it, okay? You just kind of saw through, you feel through the bone and you just saw through it just like so, okay? If not, you just give it a pop like this and hey okay so just like that now what I'm gonna do I'm going to wash my hands when you're dealing with poultry or any raw vegetables you want to always make sure that you wash your hands because you don't want to transfer bacteria all right and when you're dealing with raw meats always wash your hands all right so now what we're going to do, I'm going to move my cutting board. I need to season up these beautiful wings and, uh-oh, hold on a second guys, I don't want my camera to fall. Let me move this out the way. <clears throat> All right, bring our wings in the equation. We're going to go ahead and season these wings. Only thing that I'm going to season my wings with today is going to be salt and pepper. All right? When I make wing dings, I always use nothing but salt and pepper. All right? Not too much pepper. All right? But just enough. There we go. Nice amount of salt, not too much. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my hands again and then I'll wash them all over. All right, so I wanna turn these just like so. Okay, rub that pepper, just like this. Don't be afraid to get in there and touch the meat, guys. This is what you call love. <laughs> See, I'm only using the one hand for the raw meat and my other hand to season, okay? That way we don't transfer any bacteria. Beautiful, just like this. All right, now, <clears throat> I move my salt and pepper, wash my hands one more time, and then what we're gonna do. I have other wing videos, and I have another wing video where I didn't flower my wings. Today I'm gonna flower the wings, and I'll show you exactly how to do this. All right, let me dry my hands off. Okay, so over here on the stove, let me show you, I have a wok filled with water, uh, not with water, with oil, all right, and I have that on a medium-high temperature. All right, what we're going to do, you want to take your flour, and you pour flour on your wings, okay? There's no certain amount, okay? Just get the flour in on the wings. All right, I put that spoon up. I need to use my hands again, guys. <laughs> All right, now get every wing nice and well coated, just like so. And I'm gonna show you how to check the temperature of your oil. And what you're gonna do, you can use a wooden spoon, and if you use a wooden spoon, you use the back of the wooden spoon, you put the wooden spoon down into the oil, and if you get a lot of bubbles around the 
uh, wooden spoon, that oil is ready. Or we can do it this way. I'll show you. Give me one second. All right. Let's come over towards the oil and we'll check our oil. So what I'm going to do, check this out. I'm going to put some flour down in there. Do you see that quick sizzle? That's telling me that it's the temperature is correct and the wings are ready to go in. So that's what I'm going to do just right now. Go ahead and get those wings right on in. And you see how they're bubbling? That's perfect temperature. Okay, I'm going to get in as many as I can, but don't overcrowd your oil because if you overcrowd your oil, what will happen is the temperature of the oil will go down drastically. Okay? So we'll get these in. I'm going to, just going to do half of the wings like I always do. All right? And then we'll make another batch of the other. We'll fry another batch of the other half. Get those in. Let them go. Leave them alone. Don't mess with them. I'm washing my hands right now, everyone. Okay? Uh, don't go in messing with them with a fork or anything. Once they start to get done, they'll start to rise. Okay, and you're going to see a beautiful golden brown color on them. All right. Meanwhile, while those are frying up, I'm going to take my barbecue sauce and I'm going to put it in the pan and I'm just going to put it in the oven on about 300 just to warm the sauce up a little bit. Okay, because you never want to put cold sauce on piping hot meat. That just wouldn't be right. You would drop the temperature. It just wouldn't turn out right. Okay, so I'm going to, like I said, put the barbecue sauce in a pan and throw it in the oven so it can get nice and warm. All right, so we'll let these go for a while. Once they start to get nice and golden brown, I'll come back so you can see them. Be back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Now, let's take a look at the wings. These wings have cooked for around 12 minutes and they're almost done. And if you take a good look at them, you can see how they're nice and golden brown. Can you see that? Hold on, let me see, let me do this and I'll bring it up to the camera for you. See that? Nice and golden. Now these are actually cooked, okay? They're all the way fully cooked, but I wanna get them a little bit more brown, nice and brown, okay? And then we'll take them out. When we take them out, we're going to put them on this cooling rack, okay? And this is just a, a baking sheet, a cookie sheet. And what this will allow is it will allow air to circulate around the wings so that your wings don't get soggy while they're sitting, you know, on the rack, okay? So, a few more minutes for these and then we'll put our other batch in. Let me show you how much we have for the other batch. That's about how many. All right, come back over to these wings. I'm gonna have baked potatoes on the side with this. So that's gonna be our side dish. Soon as these get nice and golden brown, a little bit more, I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, my wings are done. Now these wings cook for 15 minutes. They are the perfect color that I'm looking for. Now, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna turn my oil down just a little bit. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and take these out, put them on your cooling rack. All right, just like so. Let them drain. Make sure you take the time to let them drain before you dredge them in the barbecue sauce. All right, the reason why I turned the oil down is because once I take these out, this oil temperature will start to rise a little bit more. Okay, and I don't want that to happen because I have another bunch that I need to put in. All right, so once I get that bunch back in, the other bunch back in, I will turn the heat back up. Okay, so now. I've heated up my barbecue sauce, like I told you all, in the oven on 300, and I've just now taken it out. Look at the, and then I'm going to show you this golden brown color. Give me just a second. This is the golden brown color that you're looking for, okay? Let me see. Can you all see this? Is that a good picture? 
that's what you're wanting. You got a nice crunch on there, you see that? Okay, let's let them drain for a few minutes. I'll be right back. I'm gonna put this other set in, and then I'm gonna show you how to dredge, and I'm gonna taste it, and let you all know what this tastes like. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I got our second batch in. I cleaned my counter off. Let's go ahead, and I'm gonna show you how to dredge your wings. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do this, all right? Hold on one second, I'm setting things up over here on my counter. All right, let's turn this way. Beautiful, nice picture. Okay, so now there's a couple ways you can do this. You can put your sauce in a bowl, take both hands and kind of do like this with your bowl and shake your wings up and toss it that way, if you want it to, okay? Or you can take each one individually and like I'm gonna do, I'm getting ready to do that now. My hands are impeccably clean. And what I wanna do, I wanna go ahead and take them and I wanna dredge them individually, just like so. Okay, let me show you my plate. All right? And I'm gonna do it this way, okay? Like you said, like I said, I, you can definitely put it in a bowl, shake them up. But I'm just doing it this way, okay? All right, and rearrange them how you like. Now, some people don't like their wings really, really wet. Like my husband does not like his wings really wet. So what I like to do for him, when it's time for him to eat, I have the oven already preheated. When it's time for him to eat, I take his wings and I throw his wings in the oven so that the sauce can kind of dry up a little bit onto the wing. That's how he likes his. He's not a really, really saucy, saucy person. Okay, and that's okay. It doesn't take long for the sauce to get nice and dry. Just make sure you preheat your oven ahead of time. All right. This is what you want. That's what you're looking for. And then I'll do the same with the second batch. I might shake the second batch, okay? Well, let me fix my camera. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna continue to plate these up. I'm not gonna make you watch every single one. I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, everyone, I'm back. The wings were individually sauced. And what I like, the reason why I did it that way instead of putting it in a bowl is because I can control how much sauce I put on there when I dip it in and kind of turn it this way to dredge it. When you put it in the bowl, you might get too much sauce. If you're not, like, like I talked about earlier, if you're not a person that likes too much sauce, then when you put it in the bowl and you shake it this way, it might be too much sauce for you. So I did it that way. Now, I have some ranch dressing on the side. You got to. You got to have ranch dressing. And you got to have or and or blue cheese on the side. Make sure you cut you some green onions, the whites and the greens. Put that on there. You got to have that on there for color and also for taste. I love to bite down into a wing and get the taste of that green onion on there. It's the most beautiful flavor. Eat those green onions. They're not just for garnish. <laughs> I cannot wait to taste this. I am so excited. Woo, that's beautiful. A few more green onions. There we go. Okay, so I've set my barbecue sauce aside and my green onions back into the refrigerator. Now let's go in, give this a taste. I'm gonna let you know what this tastes like, guys. Okay, let me get a fork. I am so excited right now. Let me get a little plate. Okay, my favorite part is the flat part. I gotta get a nice flat. And this one right here, uh-huh, is calling my name. Ooh, mm-hmm, it's calling my name. Look at this, mm-hmm. Look at it, guys. Take that first bite right there. Right there, right there, right there. 
Take that bite, everybody. And look, nice and crispy. Nice and crispy. All right, let me give this a taste. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Look how beautiful. Oh, my. Ooh, it's hot. Burning my fingers, guys. Look at that. Mm-hmm. 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 Make sure. Get you some green onions, guys. Put you some green onions on there. It changes the whole flavor. All right, hold on. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. It just slid right off of the bone. Look at this. Beautiful. Look. Mm-hmm. 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 Boy, you talking about good... Mm, mm, mm. You want some good food? Mm, mm, mm. Follow these recipes. Mm. You're going to get some good food. Mm. Boy, is that good. Mm, mm, mm. Woo. Mm, that's beautiful. So tasty. And remember, all you need is that salt and pepper on these kinds. That's all you need. I gotta get another one, guys. I am so excited right now. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at this one. Just look at it. Take a bite right there, guys. Right there. Take that first bite. Mmm. Okay. Here I come, ranch. Ranch dressing. Here I come. Wait, give me a second. Mmm, 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 mmm. Woo! Mm-hmm. Mmm. Guys, I am so sorry for smacking, but it is so good. You hear me? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's 10 o'clock at night, guys. We wanted some wings. Hey, I'm not going to Wingstop. I'm not going to BW3s. They want some wings. I'm going to make them homemade. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make a big batch so we can get as many as we want. Look at that, guys. Hold on. A little bit of ranch. Look at that right there. Mm -hmm. mm. I literally could eat this whole plate. Mm. I'm not gonna, but it's just that good. You know, somebody had asked me in the comment section, what makes Gina happy? And I thought about it. It didn't take me long to think about it, but I wanted to answer. What makes Gina happy is when I think about the love of God and all that God has done for me, it really makes me so happy, guys. Mmm. Oh, look at me. I can almost eat that bone. You hear me? And so, that's what truly makes me happy. When I think of how much I love my family, I get excited. I'm happy. When my house is clean, I'm happy. <laughs> when my house is messy, I'm upset. <laughs> but it's true. But more than anything, like I said, you all, it's just the love of God. And when I think of God, I get so excited. I am truly in love with God. And I cannot be thankful enough for all the things that God has done for me. So there's your answer. <laughs> and I'm also happy when I'm cooking. 
when I'm cooking, I am so happy. I'm so relaxed. I'm so at peace. I am enjoying this YouTube channel and sharing my recipes with you all. That makes me happy. Those are the things that makes me happy. And so, there's the answer. <laughs> I'm happy when I'm eating good food. <laughs> If you all enjoyed this recipe, let me show you the rest of the wings cooking, and they're almost done. If you all enjoyed this recipe, hey, give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't, so you don't miss anything. And don't forget to press that notification bell so that you can get a notification every time I upload one of these awesome recipes. Feel free to share. Don't forget to like. Thank you all for watching. God bless and have a great night. Good night.